Hey there, I am so happy you found my video and I hope what I am about to share with you today with regards to the question, should you move in with your partner? Should you move in with your partner? You're probably out there Googling, searching, trying to find answers to this question because maybe it's something that you are going through in your life, obviously, and you want some clarity. So I'm going to share some things with you today. I am Lisa Concepcion. I'm the founder of lovequestcoaching.com. I'm a certified professional love life coach, a dating and relationship strategist, and I help really smart people who often struggle when it comes to love. I help them cure codependency, get rid of bad dating habits so that they can invite in and attract and create the kind of love and the kind of relationship that they really truly want. They know they have it in their mind and they know they have it in their heart, but for whatever reason, it can never manifest itself in real life. So I do these videos to help people to connect with themselves on a more profound level and to really trust their instincts and to understand that the power is always inside of them. So let's dive on in. Um, at the end of the video, I'm also gonna give you some free tools that you can use for this situation or any other relationship situation you might find yourself in. It will give you an opportunity to ask me specific questions having to do with your specific situation. So be sure to stay tuned to the rest of the video. A few housekeeping things. If you like my videos and you like my content, feel free to click the like button, comment below. Let me know where you're finding me in the world. Where are you and what is going on in your love life? You could also connect with me directly at lovequestcoaching.com. All right, let's dive on in. So should you move in with the person that you're dating, the person that you're in a relationship with? Well, this is a very, very important question, and it's certainly one that cannot be entered into lightly. A lot of times we have people out there who they meet somebody, they think they're great, and all of a sudden they find themselves moving in with them, and it could be very, very quick almost like a whirlwind and then months and months go by and they kind of second guess it. They say, why did I do this? I shouldn't have moved in so soon. Now I'm starting to see different things and you know, that in this other person that I don't really like and I don't really know if it's for me. So you don't want to be in that situation. There's nothing worse than being in a situation where you liquidated all your furniture, you moved out of your home, you're moving in with someone else and it is not the right thing. So we want to make sure that that does not happen. But I will share my story. I moved in pretty quickly with my fiance, but he became my fiance prior to me moving in. So we had talked about our future. We talked about all the things that we wanted out of life. We were absolutely on the same page with all of those things. And while we were in that dating courtship phase, I made sure that I had answers to specific questions that I had about him or any man for that matter. So it's very, very important that you understand what you're getting into, that you see any red flags and walk away if there are any red flags. This is your life and it's important that you live it to the fullest and that you live it in a way that's going to bring you peace and harmony. So when you are dating, it is very important that you are clear about what it is you want. And in my situation, in my age, at the time I was 50 years old, I wanted a God-centered, marriage-minded relationship. I wanted a marital-focused relationship, meaning that if I was going to date somebody and I was going to live with them, for me personally, it would only be as a fiance, ring on my finger, of like mind moving towards a commitment. Um, if that wasn't going to be the case, then I would be happy living in my own residence and they can live in their own. And then maybe in a year we would explore it again and revisit the topic. But I did have a time frame in mind. I wanted to be engaged and married within two years. And the man that I met, I was very honest about that. I was open and honest and graceful in my communication. I owned everything that I wanted. I said, you know, I want to be in a God-centered relationship. I am 50 years old. I was married for 17 years. I'm interested in a long-term committed marriage to people, you know, just very traditional values. I'm a proud conservative. And I had this open, honest conversation. Now, he could have been like, see you later. You know, it could have scared him off. And you know what? Good. 
because I'm not here for anyone else but me. And I share this story with you because I want to empower people to look at what they want and own it and really be proud of it. And don't take any shame in it, right? What you want exists. If God can put it in your mind and in your heart, it means that God can bring it to you. So why shortchange yourself? Why settle? What you want exists. And if you don't have faith and belief, you're probably gonna just move in with anybody, right? Instead of saying, wait a second, I'm about to merge lives with this person. Do they have the same values? Do they share the same vision for life? Do they want the same things that I want? And do they conduct themselves consistently in a way that shows me that they're on page with me? So it's very, very important that you get clear on what your values are and if the person you are with shares those values. And then if that is the case and you're on the same page and there's been consistent behaviors about respect and love and you're just, you know, moving along nicely, no drama, no stress, then it's good to have that conversation about moving in and get really clear about what that is going to look like. Um, when you're merging lives with somebody, there's a lot to consider. I have a pet. I had to move in my pet with this man. Um, everything from space, right? Closet space and storage space and bringing in your life into somebody else's. And what you end up wanting to do after that. Are you moving in with her? Is she moving in with you? Whose house is getting sold? Who's relocating? What, what is going to be? So it's really important that all of those details are ironed out. Now, if it's a situation where you're thinking, I don't know if I'm with the right person and they want to move in or they're moving in that direction and they keep kind of talking about it and I get a little off put by that, then pay attention to how you feel and give yourself the permission and the love and honor yourself that your gut instinct, your deep intuition is probably saying, don't do it. So if you're looking at this topic, should I move in with this person? It's probably because there's some kind of reservation that you have. There's some kind of thing that's holding you back. Maybe they're not the right person for you. Maybe the relationship went as far as it can go on this level, or maybe a, another conversation needs to be had and more clarity needs to ha be happening before you make that decision. So I hope this video served you well. I am Lisa, the Love Coach. If you have any further questions for me, you can connect with me directly at lovequestcoaching.com. That's lovequestcoaching.com. And there you will find a free love life assessment that you can take. And in it, you'll answer a bunch of questions that will really help you get the clarity that you're looking for so that you can create the relationship and the peace and the harmony that you are looking for in your life. Thanks so much. And again, I look forward to connecting with you. If you'd like to connect with me on Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Lisa the Love Coach. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day. Bye.